So we're going to take this Lumar single speed number six capstan winch apart. Start to do that. There's a little split ring here. And what you need is a tiny little screwdriver to lever that out and up and then that comes up like that just twist it hold on to it that's one ring the whole thing comes out like that and in here so let's just show that again that goes on top of there this is the shield for these pulls and then inside the side of the capstan there's a little peg and that stops this from coming out okay and what you do is you take all this apart clean it all up and then uh, put it back together okay once you've got the uh, winch off the boat um, it will probably look a lot dirtier than this obviously um, you should end up with the outer capstan the inner piece which should have a ring on it and that goes on like that you should have the key which fits inside the piece that's still on the boat and then that engages with this to stop it coming out you should have the top split ring and you should have a top pull guard okay <clears throat> now to take the pulls out I'm not sure whether how visible it is on this camera but there is or there should be a tiny little spring in here and the idea is that you pull those two together thus and lift out both bits together and then you end up with a, a small spring and the pulls and then once you've taken the whole of this apart you should have uh, four four pulls four pulls and um, four springs now everything needs to be cleaned uh, as good as you can and I find um, an automotive degreaser uh, works just as well as any other uh, get it as clean as possible and then the trick is to hold the spring in the pull so that you can compress it like that and then it should drop in like that now on some of them you'll find that the spring is held in a little groove that may just be just to age All right but the pull can actually slide up and down so be careful of that so once you've got it back in i've taken a little pot of lumar high performance winch oil and just a couple of drops on each pole work the oil in and that's all the lubrication that that should need if you put too much um, grease or if you put any grease on these the idea is that if the grease goes off it becomes extra sticky and it can hold the, the pole open and then you don't get any winching effect at all so that's now all clean and now it needs to go back on the boat okay once you've got the uh, winch all cleaned up you need to grease the various parts so you just need to grease the two tracks on this inner race which goes in here put the ring on and this ring is to stop grease from getting into the uh, the ratchet up here so that goes in there like that 
this key goes in here and then that stops that from coming out okay then we have the outer body which should fit on quite nicely the two top poles you might have to squeeze to get in and you can see that everything is operating okay put the pole cover on and then this ring goes back on you just need to open up the lower bit get it into the groove and then rotate it in make sure it goes all the way in and all that should be sticking out is a tiny little bit of the the ring so that you can get at it again if you need to and that's it that's back on everything working as it should do